lot of things. So we tried eyeshadows, lip glosses, a bunch of time-wise stuff, which I'll get into what that is in a moment. Just anything beauty related you can think of. And all the stuff that I'm wearing on my face right now is all Mary Kay with the exception of the eyebrows. So the first thing we tried was the Time Wise Miracle Set. Now anything by Mary Kay that has the word Time Wise in it, it means that it's an anti-aging, age-fighting product. The first thing we tried was the 3-in-1 Cleanser and that evens tone, reduces fine lines, and improves skin. And the second thing we tried was the moisturizer. And now what I did when I was trying on this moisturizer is I left one side alone and then I put the time wise on this side. And on this side with the time wise, it felt amazing with the moisturizer. There's a daytime sunscreen and then there's a nighttime serum. So you get all four of those things in this time wise set, which I highly recommend. The third thing I tried was the Velocity cleanser and moisturizer. The cleanser has a light exfoliation to it and the moisturizer is a light moisturizer and that is one product that I did buy today. I put this on with my fingers. I would recommend using a brush. So all I did is just took some, dabbed it on underneath my eye with the ring finger, smoothed it out and all over my face with my fingers nothing to it now i usually don't wear liquid foundation but this one is not it's not bad at all i mean i'm used to ones that feel really heavy and caked on this doesn't feel like that at all so although i use my fingers it was really easy to apply it has great coverage I me mean, really great coverage because i have freckles all up in here so it covered that stuff up well and my skin it gets really oily up here and really dry down here so i would recommend using a primer in this case i didn't use a primer on my face so i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's kind of oily here and here and then it gets really dry here which is kind of weird i don't know why that is and the next thing we tried was the satin lips now this was a two-step process you put on a lip mask and it gets rid of all the dead skin that's on your lip you just kind of go like this and then wipe that off then there's a lip balm that you use and it's just a moisturizer it's mary Kay eyeshadow primer so i just put that on right on top of the foundation and it goes on white but it dries clear I'm wearing the Mary Kay Moonstone in my highlight and then also the inner part of my eyelid. And the next color I'm wearing is called Blue Metal. I used that right about here. And then for my accent color, I used a color called Midnight Star. It's a dark blue color. We got this sample palette. This color didn't show up on my skin at all, even with the primer, but here's that blue metal color and then right here was the midnight star color that i used all of because i absolutely love that color i love blue eyeshadow it is i just think it looks amazing on my skin and that highlight color is moonstone looks like that and the next thing i tried by mary Kay was the lash love mascara and it's supposed to lengthen and volumize your eyelashes at the same time. Now for me, like I stated before, I have curly eyelashes and it's hard for me to apply mascara. And with this, it did, it did lengthen, like I said, and it did volumize, but I didn't like the way that it separated my eyelashes. So this particular mascara is not for me. Maybe someone with straighter eyelashes it would work a lot better. I know my friend, she put the same mascara on. Her eyelashes are straighter and it looked amazing on her, but I don't think this one is for me. And next I use the Mary Kay eyeliner. Now here's a little sample thing that they give us to try on. 
and it's just enough for one or two applications. This was easy to apply. And the lip gloss I'm wearing, it's called Beach Bronze. So you get this little test thing where it's a little dab of... <sighs> it's a little dab in here and then you get this little stick thing that you use to try it on. Now it has some shimmer to it and I love the way that it looks. Now they have this product called Peachy Satin Hand. It's a pampering set and it's a three-step process. The first process is a hand softener that you put on your hands just a little bit. I don't have any in my hands to show you just a little bit and then you rub it in between your fingers and all over like this and the next step is an exfoliating hand wash so you put that on it really exfoliates your skin well your hands well it smells great you wash that off and then you finish it off with the hand moisturizer and my beauty consultant actually gave us a trial size of the peachy satin hands hands moisturizer and unfortunately it doesn't smell like the peach but it does work really well and it makes my hands really soft i also have contact information for my mary Kay rep she's really nice really sweet person goes to my church just you'll love her so i'll have her website in the description box as well